Hello everyone, it's Stephanie Arnold from Healing Crystals here. I was talking to one of my daughters today and she told me that the holidays are one of the most accident prone times of the season, that more people end up with injuries and things during this time of the year. So today I would like to suggest some crystals that you can use if you happen to be one of these people that suffers some type of an injury throughout this holiday season. Now, I don't know about you, but one of the things I do a lot of during the holiday season is cooking and baking, um, especially a lot of extra Christmas cookies and things that I like to give away to people um, to kind of show my love for family and friends, but occasionally somebody gets burnt in the kitchen. Um, if this is a problem for you, Rhodonite is my go-to crystal for burns and cuts. Um, this is an egg-shaped crystal, which is not the best for putting on your skin. Um, I prefer a cabochon or flat one that you can place right on the skin, put a Band-Aid over it, leave it on your burn until the burn is almost healed, and it should go away a lot faster than it would on its own. So Rhodonite is definitely one to keep near your kitchen. Now, if you happen to have a problem with drinking, maybe you have a little bit of a hangover one day and you're feeling the effects of that, amethyst is a crystal that can help with that. If you happen to overindulge in some alcoholic beverages at the Christmas party this holiday, try reaching for this stone or even carry it with you as it can help to mitigate the effects of the alcohol as you're drinking even. Another crystal that I suggest carrying is fire agate. Fire agate helps if you are prone to overindulgence during the holidays and which can sometimes make you feel sick or not as well as you'd like to be feeling for the, the next day or the family event coming up. Fire agate helps to control those urges and impulses and cravings that you might be feeling during this time of year. Um, now another thing that I know happened to me a lot at Christmas is that we move furniture around trying to fit the tree in the house. and. Also, the kids have a lot of extra toys laying around, and this can result in bruises, and stepping on those Lego pieces can really hurt. Um, this is some piece of hematite. Hematite is good for helping bruises go away quicker, um, kind of keep it on that area, and it also helps with other injuries as it helps with blood flow. Um, some other crystals here I have... This is amber. Amber is good for if you have any type of indigestion, you ate something wrong and maybe got some food poisoning, holding a piece of amber or even a piece of citrine like this over your stomach or wearing it, keeping it on you can help with that indigestion and problems like that. Rose quartz is good for any skin irritations. You get a rug burn, you um, you know, scrape your hand setting up the, the Christmas tree or putting up the Christmas lights outside. Um, rose quartz is good for skin irritations, holding it on there or also charging some water and putting that over your skin can help with these types of things. <clears throat> now, I know a lot of people also tend to get headaches over the holiday season. My go-to crystal for headaches is lapis lazuli, although a lot of people will tell you different crystals for this. Smoky quartz, rose quartz, amethyst, um, the list goes on. As to what will work best for you, you may need to try a few and figure that out for yourself. We have several articles on healingcrystals.com on this topic if you're looking for more on that subject. If you happen to also step on that Lego or any other injury, you might be in a little bit of pain. Rose, uh, clear quartz points can help to reduce the pain when you point them at the area that can help to draw out some of that. I hope you find this informational, and if you're looking for more on crystals or if you're looking for where to find a lot of these crystals, you can visit us at HealingCrystals.com. Peace, love, and light.